Have you noticed that Lot's songs are about being broken? Have you noticed that Lot's songs are about suicidal ideation or about having voices in your head when most people don't have voices in their head? In fact, it wasn't until recently when they sent out the broken signal that people started having voices in their head. Have you noticed that when weed became legal in Colorado, people started to have more signals sent to them? Have you noticed that Colleen is straight as vegan and yet she still picks up on the signals? Have you heard about this get woke thing? Do you notice that when we get woke, as we get woke, we're more easily controllable? Because as you become woke, just on some layer, I'm sure at some point, the higher up awakened you are, the less controllable you are, hopefully. But at some level, telepathy and psychic powers make you more controllable because people can just infiltrate your mind with their signals. Just wondering if you've noticed any other crazy side effects since opening your third eye and doing kundalini meditations? Have you noticed any um, crazy stuff happening since you have gotten a moke, such as your life falling apart, where you were working a great job, had a great family, or were getting straight A's in school, and then suddenly, as we start to wake up, your life is falling apart, you're losing your job, you're losing your family, you're losing your friends, you're losing school. I was a 4.0 master's student, and then with bad teachers, I have to say, because they would not grade my work and then just give me A's without grading any of my work and leaving any comments. And you might think that's a good thing unless you actually want to work hard and do work hard and expect comments on your work. But going from 4.0 to getting to fucking, sorry to cuss, Fs, F is for F, right? F is for F, right? How can a 4.0 master's student start getting Fs after she complains about teachers. I think that's when some of this was happening, like in complaining. I think that sometimes the price of whistleblowing, <laughs> of like not putting people down, but standing up for your rights can be destruction in your life. Sometimes sticking up for your rights and sticking up for other people's rights can bring destruction. Sometimes being free isn't always free. Sometimes free stuff doesn't make you free, right? Sometimes having free stuff given to you, like free, free phones or say free food stamps, free social security disability, free welfare, free whatever, free th stuff, like maybe he's, Maybe you're in an abusive relationship and they're paying for everything and you're staying there because you don't know how to get a job or it's been so long. It's been like 10 years since you had a job. So you have to stay in that relationship because it's been 10 years since you have a job and you have kids or whatever and nobody's going to hire you and you don't want to be in a shelter because let's face it, lots of crazy stuff happens in shelters. No offense, but the, that's where a lot of gang stalking starts because there's nothing better to do. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do to help each other out? Are you going to make the first step to help each other? Because you know that we're doing this to ourselves, right? Maybe not me doing it all to myself. Maybe not you doing it all to yourself. But we do it to each other. We do it to each other, right? Don't we do everything to each other on some level? We attract it. There is some sort of law of attraction, law of mirroring on some level. But there's also, like, <laughs> us hurting each other. We can absolutely influence each other. I'm just saying, lots of crazy stuff is happening. And it might get worse. And you will see some very crazy videos from me. Some that seem like real self-help. Some that may seem like real crazy skits. Like, just me playing pretend. Some that are me singing. 
and some that have been highly doctored and edited and not by me. Like, honestly, <laughs> I have some magical editors and I don't know where they came from. And I call them magical editors, but it's not me who's doing it. I am under some sort of mind control experiment and there's people who have been hacking to my computer and changing some of my videos. And I don't know how they do it, but I'm going to get a live YouTube feed. I'm going to put it in my room so that we can watch. I do know, I have heard of unconscious fraud. Darren Brown talks a lot about unconscious fraud and he talks about hypnosis. And I was under hypnosis for, for, for different periods of my, over the past few months, I have had moments where I was under hypnosis and I thought maybe we're creating platforms. Maybe it is the power of belief. Maybe some of us ascended, but didn't transcend. I don't know. I'm just saying weird stuff has started to happen as we start to ascend, as we start to awaken and enlighten and become better versions of ourselves, weird stuff is happening. And sometimes I wonder, like, is it really worth it? Was being raped three times in the past year worth it? And not speaking up about it? Was it worth it? Is it worth letting yourself be trampled on? Like, just so you can get free stuff, you know? Or so, it's not worth selling your soul. It's not. I am not going to sell my soul. That's all I have to say. And I have no idea how this video will be edited or doctored. But I'm tired of the broken signal. I'm tired of it. And have you picked up on the broken signal? All of our songs. There's even that video, Suicide Squad, right? There are all these signals that they're sending out to us. Life does imitate art and art imitates life. And we're constantly imitating each other. We're constantly influencing each other. Look at my scars. I have not hurt myself for like over 10 years. For over 10 years. Since 2007. I have never tried. <laughs> I have not. I've never tried to like kill myself or anything. But. I haven't. I'm not going to. But I have definitely, look at this, hurt myself in the past. And I just know that people may try to make my death look like a suicide when I never did hurt myself. And they may doctor my videos and alter them to make me say that I'm trying to hurt myself when I'm not. I'm not. So maybe I should just cut this video because they can put that together right there. I'm just, there's lots of crazy stuff happening. Lots of crazy stuff. And I know I act crazy in some of my videos. And nobody's even watching them, and we're just fine. But um, I'm just going to end it there. I'm just saying that, like, I have become a doll. I have become a puppet. I have become many different alternate versions of myself. I have seen myself just change and transform and I know that just don't if you think that your life is boring don't wish for your life to be more like a movie because it hurts play being in your play pretend hurts sometimes